Well, it's that time of the week again. Ray and Mandy are back with another edition of Fishing Tips. Hello again, everyone, and this evening we'd like to talk a little bit about plastics and imitation baits. There are lots of varieties, and when we get out on the lake in later segments, we're going to show you how to use some of these, how to rig them up in different formats. But there's a lot of things that you can buy now that uh, replace, and we're not promoting just getting rid of minnows or, or night crawlers or leeches, but if you want to start getting into plastics, there's a lot of options out there. One of them is Gulp, which is a product that's actually made with real fish parts. This is an imitation leech. This is an imitation minnow. And when you put this stuff on your hands, you smell like you're an imitation <laughs> leech yourself. Uh, but it's very popular, made with real fish parts. It's biodegradable, so it doesn't pollute the water the way some of the plastics do. There's also a product made for panfish. And they're little nuggets. And uh, they also are made out of actual fish parts, so they will biodegrade in the lake, and they're not harmful to the water, which is a, a real plus for that. And then you can buy this product in a variety of packages, a variety of different things for bass, for northerns, for walleyes. You can also buy salted uh, fish. These are real fish. These are fatheads. You can buy these and uh, instead of getting the live ones if you want to do that. And you can also buy little kits. This is a little uh, crappie kit. Uh, if you're not real familiar with what to use, you can buy this little kit. It comes with the hooks. It comes with the imitation baits. And it's all you really need to get started. Mandy, I'm going to turn it over to you with some of your plastics. Plastics, 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 you love it. So we always hear match the hatch, right? So that could be what kind of forage that it is. Is it, you know, something that perch is really prevalent out there and that's what they're feeding on, then you can actually get perch colored little baits. Um, a lot of things that we will see is crayfish. So crayfish happens to be like, the bacon for bass. It's one of their favorite forages that they eat. You'll see all these little different baits in different colors, in different styles, they all actually kind of look like a crayfish. So there's multiple different styles that you can have and you can cover with them. Another one, if you don't like to handle night crawlers or worms, there's also a plastic version of these. They come in different colors. You can rig them different ways, but they're great overall plastic to use for multiple species. I'm Ray Gildow with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Andy Eric, the Bassin Biologist. All right, and you get in the boat next week with them, right? Yep, next week we'll be out on the water. Uh, we, we got the basics down, now we'll go out and catch some fish. All right. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.